All right. So today we're diving into something I think a lot of people dream about. Yeah. Landing a job in Norway. Mm -hmm. um, when you think about Norway, what comes to mind? Well, I mean, obviously the Fords. Yeah. Stunning natural beauty. Of course. And, you know, maybe even a little bit of that work-life balance everyone always talks about. Right, exactly. I mean, who wouldn't want to experience all that? Yeah. But honestly, breaking into a new job market anywhere, let alone a country like Norway. Right. Known for its unique culture can feel absolutely like a pretty daunting task. It definitely presents unique challenges. Yeah. But I think what's really interesting is that success in the Norwegian job market often comes down to yeah. understanding the nuances of their work culture. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it's those subtle things you often don't realize until you're exactly. kind of in the thick of it. You're already there and you're like, wait, what? Yeah, exactly. And right. that's why we have a guest today yes. who's been through it all, navigated those twists and turns. Mm -hmm. And come out the other side with a fantastic job in their field. That's right. So welcome. Um, tell us a little bit about what sparked your journey to Norway in the first place. Well, for me, it was always about the incredible natural beauty. Yeah. And just the sense of adventure Norway offers, you know. Mm -hmm. I'd always dreamt of living closer to nature. Yeah. And Norway, it just... It ticked all the boxes. Yeah. Plus the reputation for work-life balance definitely didn't hurt. Yeah, that adventurous spirit. Mm -hmm. It's definitely something we see a lot in people who decide to make the move to Norway. Yeah. But as with any big move, there's always that reality check right. waiting on the other side. Of course. So what were some of those initial hurdles you encountered in your job search? Honestly, the language barrier was a big one. Um, you know, I could speak English fairly well. Right. But a lot of the job postings I saw, they required at least a basic understanding of Norwegian. Interesting. Which I hadn't really anticipated. And then on top of that, there's the whole application process. Yeah. Formatting my CV and cover letter to Norwegian standards was like mm. a complete mystery. It was like learning a new language. Right. On top of actually learning Norwegian. That's so interesting. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I think a lot of people just assume that in today's globalized world, English will be enough. Right. You would think so. To get by. But clearly that's not always the case. No. So what else surprised you about the job search process in Norway? The networking aspect was a huge surprise for me. Okay. Back home, networking was important. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But in Norway, it felt like a completely different beast. Really? It wasn't just about attending events and, you know, handing out business cards. It no. was about building these genuine connections and fostering trust. Right. I realized pretty quickly... I needed a completely different approach. I think that's a crucial insight. Yeah. And it really speaks to a fundamental part of Norwegian work culture. Mm. Crust is paramount. It's not just about what you know on paper. Yeah. It's about who you know. Okay. And the strength of those relationships. Interesting. And building that trust takes time and genuine effort. So you're navigating this new language, this different application style. Right. And now you're realizing... The weight of networking in Norway, mm -hmm. that's a lot to process. Yeah. So what was your turning point? How did you start to kind of get a handle on all of this? Well, honestly, I felt lost for a while. Yeah. You know, I was making progress with the language, mm -hmm. but something was still missing. Okay. And then I had this conversation with a friend yeah. who had been living in Norway for a few years. Okay. And they gave me some really game-changing advice. Okay, this is where things get really interesting. Yeah. Because this advice, as we'll find out, mm. really challenged some common assumptions about job seeking and offered a more tailored approach for the Norwegian context. All right. I'm intrigued. Tell us more. <laughs> well, my friend told me that to really succeed in the Norwegian job market, I needed to, like, shift my mindset. Okay. It wasn't enough to just, you know have the skills and qualifications, uh -huh. I had to actually understand the deeper cultural values Interesting. that underpin the Norwegian work environment. That's such a fascinating concept. Yeah. Can you elaborate on what your friend meant by mm -hmm. deeper cultural values? Well, this is where I think the idea of Jantelovin comes in. Jantelovin. Jantelovin, okay. It's this set of sort of unwritten social rules, mm -hmm. you know, that you find in Norway and other Scandinavian countries. Mm -hmm. And it really emphasizes humility. Okay. The collective good and not standing out too much. Wow, John Eleven. That's something I've heard mentioned before. Yeah. But I'll admit I don't fully understand it. Yeah, it was a new concept for me too. Okay. Basically, it's about, you know, not 
boasting about your achievements. Right. Not acting superior. Okay. And really prioritizing teamwork and collaboration mm -hmm. over individuals' success. Exactly. And this ties back to the importance of networking. Oh, okay. That we were discussing earlier. Right. In a culture that values humility and collective effort, yeah. building genuine relationships becomes even more crucial. So it's not enough to just show up with a killer resume right. and a list of accomplishments. You really have to demonstrate that you Look understand that. and embrace these Why cultural not? nuances. Yeah. So how did you start to apply these concepts to your job search? Well, the first thing I did was take a hard look at my CV and cover letter. Oh. I realized I was highlighting individual achievements way too much. Interesting. So I rewrote them focusing more on collaborative projects okay. and transferable skills that showed, you know, my ability to work effectively in a team. That's a really interesting approach. Yeah. So you're essentially adapting your self-presentation mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. align with these Norwegian cultural values. Right. What about the networking aspect? How did you approach that differently? Well, instead of trying to network with as many people as possible, uh -huh. I focused on building deeper connections right, right. with a smaller group of professionals in my field. Okay. So I still attended industry events and things like that. But mm. I made a conscious effort to really, you know, have meaningful conversations and listen to people's experiences. So quality over quantity in terms of your networking contacts. Exactly. Did you find that this approach yielded better results? Absolutely. Through these deeper connections, mm -hmm. I started to get a real sense of what Norwegian employers were actually looking for. OK. I learned about specific company cultures, unspoken expectations. Wow. I even got some insider tips on job openings. Oh, wow. That weren't publicly advertised. This really highlights the power of informational interviews, mm -hmm. especially in Norway where those relationships are so important. Yeah. You know, having those informal conversations yeah. can really give you invaluable insights right. and potentially open doors yeah. that would have otherwise remained closed. It sounds like you really started to crack the code. Yeah. Of the Norwegian job market by embracing these cultural nuances. Mm -hmm. So what was the outcome of all your efforts? Well, within three months of shifting my approach, wow. I landed an interview for a position that perfectly aligned with my skills and interests. Wow. And what was even more surprising was that the interview itself yeah. felt more like a conversation than an interrogation. That's incredible. So uh, all the effort you put into understanding Norwegian work culture, yeah. it really paid off. It seems like it. Can you tell us a little bit more about this conversation-like interview? Sure. How did it differ from what you were used to? It was much more relaxed and informal uh, than any interview I'd ever had before. Mm -hmm. The hiring manager was genuinely interested in my perspective mm -hmm. and how my values aligned with the company's culture. Okay. We talked about my experience, the, my passions, yeah. even my hobbies. I think this really reinforces the idea that Norwegian employers... Mm -hmm. They're looking for more than just technical skills. Right. They want to see if you're a good fit for the team yeah. if you share their values right. and if you'll thrive in their work environment. So it's about the whole package. Exactly. Your skills, your personality, your values, and how you present yourself within the context mm -hmm. of Norwegian culture. Yeah. And in your case, all of that led to you landing your dream job. That's right. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing now. I'm currently working as a software developer at a tech startup in Oslo. That sounds incredible. Yeah. And it's clear that your skills and experience are truly valued in this environment. Mm-hmm. But what really fascinates me is how you got there. Yeah. You went from feeling lost and confused okay. to confidently navigating a new job market mm -hmm. by embracing the cultural nuances of Norway. Yeah. That's a powerful lesson for anyone considering a similar move. It really is. And what's especially noteworthy, I think, is that our guests didn't rely on any, you know, magic formulas or shortcuts. Right. They succeeded by being open minded, adaptable. Yeah. And willing to learn from those who understood mm. the intricacies of Norwegian work culture. So it's amazing to hear how embracing the cultural nuances of Norway yeah. Really opens so many doors for you. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people listening right now might be wondering, yeah. what can they do to better understand and adapt to yeah. Norwegian work culture? Well, I think one of the most important things is to just be genuinely curious okay. and willing to learn. 
Mm -hmm. Read about Norwegian history, society, and values. Okay. Try to understand the why behind those cultural norms. So it's not just about mimicking behaviors. It's right. about understanding the deeper context. Exactly. What are some practical things listeners can do mm -hmm. to kind of immerse themselves in Norwegian culture? Well, even before moving to Norway, you can start connecting with Norwegians online. Oh, okay. Join expat groups on social media. Participate in online forums mm. or even find language exchange partners. Go. It's a great way to get insights into everyday life and cultural nuances. Absolutely. And once you're in Norway, yeah. make an effort to engage with the local community. Okay. Attend cultural events, join a sports club, mm -hmm. or volunteer for a local organization. Right. These experiences will not only enrich your understanding of the culture, yeah. but also help you build those genuine connections. Those are fantastic suggestions. Yeah. So it's about being proactive both before and after exactly. arriving in Norway. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about the job search itself. Okay. What advice would you give to someone who's actively applying for jobs in Norway? Don't be afraid to highlight your collaborative skills oh. and your willingness to learn. Mm -hmm. Norwegian employers, they really value teamwork and adaptability. That's a crucial point. Yeah. Showcasing your genuine interest in Norway and its culture right. can really make a big difference. It demonstrates commitment and a long-term perspective. So it's about presenting yourself as a well-rounded individual mm -hmm. who's not just looking for a job. Right but also seeking a meaningful experience in Norway. Exactly. What about those less obvious skills or qualities? Mm -hmm. That might give someone an edge in the Norwegian job market. Well, something that often gets overlooked is a love for the outdoors. Oh, interesting. Norway has incredible natural beauty. Yeah. And a lot of Norwegians are very passionate about spending time in nature. Absolutely. If you enjoy hiking skiing, mm -hmm. or even just being surrounded by stunning landscapes. Yeah. Mentioning those interests can actually be a plus. Okay. It shows a potential alignment with Norwegian lifestyle and values. That's such an interesting point. Yeah. It's not just about ticking boxes on a resume. Right. It's about showcasing those personal interests that resonate exactly. with Norwegian culture. Mm. Are there any other kind of hidden gems? Yeah, I think another thing that can be surprisingly valuable is a sense of humor. Oh. Norwegians have a very dry, often self-deprecating sense of humor. Uh -huh. That can take some getting used to. Right. But being able to appreciate and even participate in that type of humor yeah. can go a long way in building rapport. So don't be afraid to show your lighter side. Exactly. <laughs> but maybe brush up on some Norwegian humor yeah. <laughs> before cracking those jokes. <laughs> <laughs> And remember, even if you don't have all the answers or mm. haven't mastered all the cultural nuances, yeah. being humble, curious, and willing to learn will take you far. That's encouraging. Norwegians are generally very welcoming and supportive of those <laughs> who make a genuine effort to integrate. That's such an encouraging message. Yeah. It's a reminder that landing a job in Norway might require some extra effort mm -hmm. and adaptation. Sure. But the rewards can be incredibly fulfilling. Absolutely. Both professionally and personally. I agree. Well, a huge thank you to both of you yeah. for sharing such valuable insights. That. And for really demystifying the process of finding a job in Norway. My pleasure. I think our listeners will walk away feeling inspired and empowered. I hope so. To pursue their own Norwegian adventures. Yeah. And for those who need additional support or guidance in their job search. Mm hmm Remember that there are resources available to help. That's right. Don't hesitate to reach out and explore those options. Absolutely. And remember, even if the journey seems daunting at first, yeah. don't be afraid to take the leap. Mm -hmm. You might just surprise yourself with what you can achieve. That's right. Until next time, keep exploring. Yes. Keep learning. Keep learning. And keep those applications coming. Happy job hunting. <laughs>